Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar Channel. And in today's video, I'll share how I use Trello along with Toodledoo for task and project management. So my main software for task management is Toodledoo. It's kind of a dumb name and it has a pretty clunky interface, but I honestly have not been able to replace it because nothing else has quite the feature set that I need. The most important thing Toodledoo does for me is allow me to schedule future and repeating tasks in weird intervals like every 32 days or every fourth month. I have a whole video on Toodledoo if you're interested in how I use it. So Toodledoo is essentially my main tickler system. Every day I wake up to anywhere between nine and 30 tasks for the day. Some of them are super short, like clearing out my voicemail box one time a week. Some are longer, like spending an hour of a, of a day doing YouTube video tasks. But despite the fact that Toodledoo does exactly what I need it to, it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles and it's not three dimensional or versatile enough to do full project planning with. For that, I've started to use Trello. So if you're not at all familiar with Trello, I have an overview video that discusses its history, how it works, and some of its great features. So in this video, I'm going to share how I use Trello in my life. There are really five reasons that I use Trello, and I'm going to walk you through them and provide examples. Number one, everyday tasks. So I already told you that I use Toodledoo to keep track of the things that I need to get done every day, right? So Toodledoo is great at reminding me what I need to do, but in terms of working through that list or planning, it blows. I want to be able to reorder the tasks manually in the order that I plan to do them, but you can't do that with Toodledoo. I sometimes create an agenda in Notability. You can see my video on that. But many times, if I have over 10 tasks to accomplish, I pull them into Trello where I can manually sort them and then drag them over to the done list once I've completed them. I have a video coming out soon that walks you through the process that I use for that. My second use is projects. So aside from the tasks that I have to do every day, I usually have a list of projects that I'd like to work on. So these are not projects that need immediate attention or else I would divide them all up into tasks and add them to Toodledoo. Rather, these are projects that I can work on when I have the time. So since I'm in grad school, I usually have some time between semesters to deal with projects like redoing our last will and testament, fixing the chair in the sitting room, and learning how to use the tennis racket stringer. So these are not terribly pressing, but if I have the time, I like to work on them. So I keep a Trello board for these projects, and here's how I organize it. I have a general list for projects, but bigger projects with many items on it get their own list. Like for example, visits for my son's college options and YouTube video research. Then I have a list that contains projects that are currently underway. You can see I have some meetings set up with due dates. And my done list is where I move cards that are all complete. My done list is almost always to the left of everything for convenience, but this is totally against Trello and Kanban board convention. <laughs> The third reason I'll make a Trello board is for big projects. So Trello is not just a task management system like Toodledoo, but it has a lot of additional versatility to store information. So if you're doing a giant project like renovating your kitchen or going on a big trip, I like to make a board for each of these giant projects. That way I can include lots of information that I need to make decisions for that project. So in the case of a kitchen renovation, you could store uh, for floor plans, links to a budget spreadsheet, contact information for vendors or contractors, links to kitchen furnishing websites, photos of all the styles that you like, like a Pinterest board, and then you can include a list of tasks and drag these to a done list when they're all complete. We currently have a board going that my husband's son and I all collaborate on for the nine colleges that my son is talking to for, uh, for next year. Each college has its own card, and it goes through this process, visiting, interview, uh, application submission, et cetera, and um, they're gonna be sorted into top, middle, and bottom choices. So the only issue that I have with project boards is, since I don't check, check my Trello boards daily, if a task needs to be done on a certain day, I always duplicate that task over on Toodledoo, since I'm more accountable to that system. The fourth reason I use Trello is for graduate school. So I'm going to do an entire video on how I use Trello to organize myself for grad school, but because I block off time several times a week to dedicate to grad school, I can use a board for the work, all the work that I have to do for it. I do put some specific tasks onto Toodledoo. For example, on Mondays, I remind myself to open Trello and get organized for the week. Within this board, I keep all of the assignments and readings for each class for the semester. 
information and tasks for big projects or papers, contact information and syllabuses, syllabi <laughs> for each class, and some general school information like links to the library and to class registration. So the last Trello use for me is helping my kids get organized. So this is the new system that I'm implementing this year to help my kids stay on top of their chores and schoolwork. Trello has great collaboration features so my kids can create a board and add me to it, allowing me to edit and view it. In addition, I can turn on this watch feature so that I am notified anytime there is any activity on the board. So each of my kids will have a board that contains all of their work um, from school plus home chores. My kids are both going to be required to organize a plan of attack for the evening within Trello before they get started on schoolwork. And I'll be able to see immediately what their plans are and whether they have completed all of their chores that day. So that's it for now. I could easily use Trello for my YouTube video process. It's really a perfect use for it. Um, but I sort of have the two-week ritual memorized and internalized. I don't really need that organizational help there. So that is how I use Trello along with Toodledo for task and project management and to collaborate with family members. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated. And thanks for watching.